Hello YouTube, it's Carl here. I'm going to show you today on how to make a leak down tester for either. I'm going to do a two for one here for a 250R Honda ATC motor and then my Banshee. Alright, so first things first, you want to go out and get your parts. You need a cheap tire pressure gauge. You need the end caps to fit into the intake side. I got two of the incorrect size for the Banshee and also incorrect size for the uh, 250 yard motor. And then you need for the exhaust side the correct size expansion plug available at like Advanced Auto or Vado Zone, either or. It's got to be able to fit in the exhaust and when you tighten up it's supposed to seal completely. Uh, neither fits in the Banshee exhaust either so I kind of fucked that up so remember first time get the incorrect sizes second time get the correct sizes it's easy as that all right got the exhaust side but plugged with that that was more of a pain in the ass than it needed to be that rubber's entirely too stiff we'll just say that all right we're gonna prep the uh, gauge to be put onto the uh, caps take this unscrew this little doodad Throw that away basically. Grab your handy dandy player pliers. This is the piece that pushes the uh, Schrader valve down on the other side on the tire. And you can obviously read the air pressure. Take your handy old needle nose pliers, firmly grasp it, and then give it a twist and a yank. A little pin will come right out. And now, conveniently, that's nice pipe threads. Fill the stupid thing via air chuck. And then found this over there, true value, it's just a little Schrader valve, goes in some pipe thread. Go run out and get the correct fucking end caps and see what kind of complete utter failure this is going to end up being. Got the right shit for the uh, 250R at least, it's just a 1 inch schedule 40 cap. Alright, unfuck the situation a little bit. Standard 8th inch NPT, hex nipple, got the little hex on there so I can wrench it on there all nice and professional like eighth inch NPT T fitting this one is for the R these are for the Banshee I did not get the uh, exhaust side plugs for the Banshee yet in a second once I'm done with my Chick-fil-A I will uh, assemble it all right this part should be pretty simple here take a little bit of pipe dope not necessary but always recommend it get to use the old uh, adjustable because my vice is in a pit of darkness right now because I haven't fixed the ballast on that side of the shop yet. I can't really bear down on this too much. Hopefully that seals with all that piped open there. I'm just going to say fuck it and add some more threads because I can't crank this thing down hard or else, you know, it's probably going to explode the fucking gauge. Yeah, this is messy. Alright, let's hope that holds. There we go. It's ugly. Covered in dope. Whatever. I guess I gotta drill top of the cap. 164th drill bit. Probably do this in drill press, but whatever. Ah. Cool. Now, tap is probably not 100% necessary. You could probably just use the brass fitting and just get it in there. Get a little bit of the pipe dope here. Um, just stuff starting to dry out a little bit. It's getting a little hard to manage. That end's done and done. Yeah, Put the reed cage back together. So. And I use a bike pump instead of uh, blowing Steve's stuff to pieces. Yeah, and I know on the Banshee is about 5 PSI's maximum, so uh, that's what we're going to go for on this thing. 
This is about as awkward as using a fucking shake weight. Maybe some people are that. From no. my educated guess, leaking. it is leaking. Fantastic. As you can see, coming from. Definitely not broke down. Yeah, definitely coming from the head there. <laughs>